I'm Carol Staub. I'm here with your weekly Luxury Pulse update. The market was up slightly last week. There were five signed contracts versus three the week prior. This May, we just saw 16 signed contracts versus 111 contracts last May. Only one contract was signed over 10 million in May versus 27 last May. The number of signed contracts will remain very low until sharing restrictions are lifted in the next few weeks. The number one contract last week was 155 West 11th Street, number 5K, an off-market investment unit, asking $7.25 million. It sold for $6.63 million in 2017 when the building was a new development. 5K is a 2,204 square feet with three bedrooms, three and a half baths, and a 205 square foot terrace. 5K is on a high floor with amazing views of the Freedom Tower. The buyer bought the condo off photos and floor plans only. That said, the buyer visited Greenwich Lane previously and was very familiar with the apartments there. The number two signed contract was a co-op at 1100 Park Avenue, number 16B. Totally renovated, four bedrooms, three baths, including a 60 square foot terrace. The asking price was $6.95 million. It was just listed mid-pay and went into contract very quickly. It was bought sight unseen. However, the buyers had numerous friends in the building, so they felt very comfortable buying there. The sellers had 16B on the market in 2019, and they received a full price offer. They changed their minds about selling. However, while sheltering with their family in the Hamptons, they discovered they really liked suburban living and that what it had to offer. They just recently bought a single family home in Scarsdale, a New York City bedroom community. Notice that the contracts in the past two weeks had terraces, which have become a very desirable feature during this time. It will be interesting to see how the level of signed contracts increased after showing restrictions are lifted. There's going to be a pent-up buyer demand because the spring market was centrally in pause mode. In addition, many more sellers who were holding off listing will be putting their properties on the market. Do you have any real estate questions? Do you need some advice on how to navigate this market? Call me, email me, or send me a text. As always, I'm here for you.